Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended D&H. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs. All without the lines. Trust and service. That's our D&H. Welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, February 25th. We're going to talk about a very special documentary that uh, was screened at the Sundance Film Festival, won an award, and it will be at the uh, running at the True False Film Festival. I want to introduce you to Robert Green, Professor Robert Green. Good to have you here, Professor Robert Green. Thank you. You're for with the me. Murphy Center for Documentary Journalism. Murray Center. Murray Center John for Documentary. Murray. He's, yeah. He is a, a, a graduate of the University of Missouri and started the Real World and gave us a, a hefty sum of money to start it. So we should get his name right. The All right. So we, so we got Center. the Murray Center for yes, Documentary yes, Journalism, but the the documentary that you directed is Kate Plays Christine. Correct. This is a non-fiction documentary, psychological documentary. Well, yeah, it's, I mean, that's the marketing material, calls it that, <laughs> which is, uh, um, the film is about, uh, in 1974, a woman named Christine Chubbuck went on air in, uh, in Sarasota, Florida, at a very small television station, and she committed suicide on, on air. air. And uh, this is a film I've been trying, or, or this is a story I've been somewhat obsessed with for probably 10 years or so, trying to figure out how to tell the story, because I didn't want to tell a straightforward version of the story. Mm -hmm. um, because of some of the, there's many reasons, and you, 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 when you see the film, you'll, you'll see why. Um, but so we so what we did we we cast um, an actor named Caitlin Scheel who is does indie films and she's also been in House of Cards um, and she's in uh, the like you know new television shows as well um, and and the film is basically following her as she's trying to understand and play the role of Christine Chubbuck in a sort of film within a film mm -hmm. so it's a little bit of a head trip kind of uh, sort of dive into what it means to try to understand and tell a story. Was this a difficult documentary to direct? Well, I mean, I, there's difficult is a different, it, it's a crazy thing because some people go to, you know, Afghanistan and um, and dodge bullets to make their films. Um, this is, I would say it's difficult in, in order to pull it off because it was such a, it's, it's, it really is a deep dive into like a psychological space about performance and about sort of what it means to try to understand this thing that happened, which yeah. is a very strange uh, sort of, uh, tw I don't know, one of those things that you can't shake from your head once you learn about it. You shot this at all the actual locations in Sarasota, Florida. Yeah, I mean... So you went to the television station, you went to the gun store that she bought the gun? Yeah, well, they were, yeah, they were the same lo the same business, the different location. Um, yeah, w basically the film, it, it, I like to think about it, it's it's less about Christine Chubbuck than it is about Christine Chubbuck's story. Mm -hmm. And that is a, that's sort of a small, line and difference you know in, in some ways but it makes sense when you see the film because it's it's more trying to understand rather than trying to simply you know expose or something um, in the end the film really is questioning why would you ever want to make this film in the first place why would you ever want to see the footage of her committing suicide in the first place um, and that, that those are the questions that we were kind of asking so when people go to see this film at the True Falls Film Festival how are they going to leave the screening? I think the the film, I think, sucks you in like a psychological thriller does. That's sort of by design. It really, you really, uh, you're watching this movie not knowing how much of the actor is acting and how much of, when you don't know if, how much Kate's being herself, how much she's acting, and that draws you in to try to figure out what's going on. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's just how movies work, you know, forever. You know, yeah. you're trying to yeah. figure out what's gonna happen next, what's going on. Um, and then by the end, you you watch her sort of build to this moment that she's gonna have to choose whether she's gonna reenact this, this suicide or not. And the, the way we sort of handle that really questions the whole thing, the whole idea of making the story in the first place. Do so, you actually show 
the suicide. Well, I don't. I wouldn't want to spoil the movie for you. So uh, okay. So uh, that, you have to go into that's the movie. definitely. I mean, and and the questions that that que- the it's great that you asked that question because that's what the film is really about. So when you ask what the audience is going to come away from, I think they'll they'll basically take away this the the question themselves. Should should we be watching this and should we be how we, should we think about the pre- the representation of this yeah. moment? Now you won an award. At Sundance, we did. We did. Uh, it was the it was a the special jury prize, which they give out a few of those um, for writing, which is interesting because I hardly wrote anything. Um, uh, but I think what that what that award is trying to say is that our film really does push these boundaries between fiction and nonfiction, which is of course what true, the True False Film Fest is all about. Right. Um, and uh, I think this is sort of an old school way of acknowledging that it must have been written. It must have been directed in a different way. I'm proud that it that the Sundance, Sundance has never given a writing award to a documentary, as far as I know. So it's cool to well, have congratulations yeah, on it's, that. It's cool to win something that you don't even know what, what and, it is. And and if people want to see this, it will be playing at the True Falls Film Festival. It's Correct. called Kate Plays Christine. Yep. Kate, uh, do you know when it will be running? Oh, I think we'll probably have a Thursday screening. Um, I, I'm pretty sure uh, True False is March 3rd through the 6th. So we'll we'll have two or three screenings throughout the festival. And, um, I, you know, I think True False, uh, everything's on truefalse.org. Okay, so you can go to the True False uh, Film Festival website. Correct. It will tell you when you can see Kate Plays Christine. Yep. Robert, thank you so much for coming by. You know... We were talking before we came on today, and I asked you, uh, how did you shoot this movie on film or in video? And you looked at me as if, well, don't you know? Nothing <laughs> is shot on film anymore. Yeah, I sad didn't to know say. that. Sad to say, but very, very So you're, you're telling me that most movies this day are not shot on 35 millimeter film they, they should not be called films anymore perhaps they're they're movies digital movies most of them i mean i've edited a couple films that are fiction films uh that are proudly shot on 16 millimeter film uh still though projected hardly ever uh in film i'm about to go to berlin um or uh I'm, it, the film's playing in berlin and i think there's one film that's projecting on 35 millimeter so film. when we go to the movie theater here we're not actually watching a film. They're, they don't have those big reels anymore with the, where they have to change the reels, right? They, 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 if you're watching an older film, there's a chance that you're going to see a, a real print. But most of the time, they're on a thing called DCP, which is a, which is a, a, a video. Yeah. Okay. And when I told you I didn't realize that, you looked at me and said, what? You don't know that. Well, I'm I'm happy that some people don't know. It, it says that there's still this this idea this aura, of what this, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but so I'm glad that I'm I'm sorry to have burst your bubble. All right, Robert Green, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks so from much. the Murray Center for Documentary Journalism, and look for Kate plays Christine at the True False Film Festival. Thanks for having here me. in Columbia. It's my pleasure. All right. Uh, Friday, we're out of time for today. Friday, we've got uh, tomorrow. Walter Bargan, our first. Poet Laureate uh, in Missouri. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director, Ariel Sierra. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Foster.